going to be showing you the first day of Salt Lake City Comic Con. I am super duper excited. to the complexity of the costume and the power of it. I don't, I'm not a very girly girl. I really like this one. Did you make it yourself? I did, I made it 100% myself. Did you want to look? There's my flashlight, turn it on. Thank you. Is this your first time at Salt Lake Comic Con? No, this is my second con, Salt Lake Comic Con. I went to FanNet last, last time. What do you like the most about Salt Lake Comic Con? I love costumes. I've been making costumes all my life. Thanks for taking a couple minutes to be interviewed. You're welcome. So another really cool thing you're going to you're going to want to do if you're going to be coming to a con like this is go to panels. So right now we're in the panel room for this really cool panel which is about whether they're using feminism and whether marketing and businesses are using feminism and geek girls as a way, way to market things or if they're legitimately interested in it. And it's a really cool thing. Um, like an example of something we might talk about is these Project MC Squared dolls. Um, I think that they're somewhat, at least somewhat interested because they do come with actual science experiments. Um, but we'll see what everyone has to say about it. I'm really interested. Is interested. I'm really interested. Can I just say I cried? Yeah. I, cried. I literally shed tears of confused joy at the end of the movie. My husband looked at me and said, what is wrong with you? Because I'm not big on feelings. Um, and I looked at him and I said, I have never been to a movie and seen women represented in so many different ways, in so many different, I mean, just 
powerful and vulnerable and people. And I was like, where has this been all my life? And I looked at him and I said, I want to bring your daughters to this. And they're nine and 12. And he said, no. And I said, yes. <laughs> One of the greatest things I think about Mad Max, uh, and thank you so much for bringing this up. I know, I was so happy with this question. One of the greatest things about Fury Road specifically is that if it was made by anyone else, it would not have been the amazing film that it was. Mm -hmm. Because you have Charlize Theron's character, namely, who, if this was any other action film, she would be the typical, uh, like, masculine female hero who shuns off any sort of femininity and kind of puts women down in order to be, like, the tough girl, do you know what I mean? Exactly. And, uh, but in, and she is, in a lot of ways, kind of like that, where she's really masculine and she's really tough and she's not big on, on um, you know, being... Uh, the stereotypical like m woman, but the, underneath it all is a softness, is kind of a maternal instinct in a way, and it's so diverse. And you have uh, Cheeto the Fragile, who's one of the wives, who is com completely a mess until the end, and she uses her fragility as a tool, and you've got Toast, who's super tough and quiet, and you've got Splendid, who is a mother and a pacifist, and then you've got Capable, who's really clever, and she's also like a very feminine pac pacifist. And just older women, women of color, Jesus, watch Mad Max Fury Road! <laughs> so there were a lot of really cool people on that panel, and we will put the ones that we can remember as links in the description. They were super duper duper cool and amazing. So Denver Comic Con has a panel that's kind of infamous for having a women in comics panel with only men. Like, there are plenty of girls, like, there was Bonnie Burton and Liz Prince and several other people that could have made it onto that panel and I think it was kind of a dumb decision just to, to have all men and not even, and not like at least a few women in there. Um, but Bonnie Burton would be proud of the women that was on, that, of the people that were on this panel. It was super duper amazing and entertaining. Another one of the really cool things to do at the cons is they have photo shoots where lots of people from the same like kind of thing, like same franchise or same thing like anime, will get together and take pictures. So we're about to do the anime photo shoot since I'm in my pizza cosplay. So let's go ahead. So we saw a ton of amazing cosplayers today. Um, we just got back from the ho from the anime shoot and we're in the hotel room and we're wrapping up the day. And it was a super duper awesome first day of Salt Lake City Comic Con. I had such a great time and tomorrow I'm going to be on a panel and I'm going to be meeting some celebs so I'm super excited. So yeah, thank you for watching and a smile.